Good Thursday morning to you folks. Welcome as uh, we come together for this service of morning prayer from the Book of Alternative Services. My name is Reverend Nancy Merch. I'm the rector of the parish of St. Mary the Virgin here in St. John's, Newfoundland, and I'm grateful to start my day with you in this way. Our service begins on page 45 in the Book of Alternative Services. If you have your service book, wonderful. If you don't, well, we can provide a service for you to follow along with by going to our website at www.stmarythevirgin.ca. Let us take a moment now to clear our minds and rest our hearts as we prepare to worship God. The sacrifice of God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God, you will not despise. My dear friends in Christ, as we prepare to worship Almighty God, let us with penitent and obedient hearts confess our sins, that we may obtain forgiveness by his infinite goodness and mercy. And we pray together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all of your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is our light and our life. O come, let us worship. And let us say together now the words of the Venite. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The Lord is our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship. For our proclamation of the word today, we begin with a reading from 1 Kings chapter 18, reading verses 1 to 19. After many days... The word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year of the drought, saying, Go, present yourself to Ahab. I will send rain on the earth. So Elijah went and presented himself to Ahab. The famine was severe in Samaria. Ahab summoned Obadiah, who was in charge of the palace. Now Obadiah revered the Lord greatly. When Jezebel was killing off the prophets of the Lord, Obadiah took a hundred prophets, hid them, fifty to a cave, and provided them with bread and water. Then Ahab said to Obadiah, Go through the land to all the springs of water and to all the wadis. Perhaps we may find grass to keep the horses and mules alive and not lose some of the animals. So they divided the land between them to pass through it. Ahab went in one direction by himself, and Obadiah went in another direction by himself. As Obadiah was on the way, Elijah met him. Obadiah recognized him, fell on his face, and said, Is it you, my lord Elijah? He answered him, It is I. Go, tell your lord that Elijah is here. And he said, How have I sinned, that you would hand your servant over to Ahab to kill me? 
As the Lord your God lives, there is no nation or kingdom to which my Lord has not sent to seek you. And when they would say, He is not here, he would require an oath of the kingdom or nation that they had not found you. But now you say, Go, tell your Lord that Elijah is here. As soon as I have gone from you, the Spirit of the Lord will carry you, I know not where. So when I come and tell Ahab and he cannot find you, he will kill me, although I, your servant, have revered the Lord from my youth. Has it not been told, my Lord, what I did when Jezebel killed the prophets of the Lord? How I hid a hundred of the Lord's prophets, fifty to a cave, and provided them with bread and water? Yet now you say, go tell your Lord that Elijah is here. He will surely kill me. Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts lives, before whom I stand, I will surely show myself to him today. So Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him, and Ahab went to meet Elijah. When Ahab saw Elijah, Ahab said to him, Is it you, you troubler of Israel? He answered, I have not troubled Israel, but you have and your father's house, because you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord and followed the Baals. Now therefore have all Israel assembled for me at Mount Carmel with the 450 prophets of Baal and the 400 prophets of Asherah who eat at Jezebel's table. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Psalms appointed for our service this morning are Psalms 93 and 96. 93 begins on page 830 in your book of alternative services, should you like to follow along. The Lord is King. He has put a sp on splendid apparel. The Lord has put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. The waters have lifted up their voice. The waters have lifted up their pounding waves. Mightier than the sound of many waters. Mightier than the breakers of the sea. Mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure and holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forevermore and evermore. And Psalm 96 on page 834. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all people. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens. O oh, the majesty and magnificence of his presence. O oh, the power and splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the people. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the people with equity. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. We worship you, God of glory and the beauty of holiness, and we joyfully proclaim your just and righteous rule established for all through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our second reading this morning is from the Gospel of John, chapter 11, 
reading verses 17 to 29. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, some two miles away, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them about their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him, while Mary stayed at home. Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes. Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. When she had said this, she went back and called her sister Mary and told her privately, The teacher is here and is calling for you. And when she heard it, she got up quickly and went to him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We say now together the words of Hear, O Israel. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. For our prayers this evening, I've selected Litany number 5 on page 114 in your Book of Alternative Services. Litany 5. Let us pray to the Lord, saying, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the peace of the world. The Lord grant that we may live together in justice and faith. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this country, and especially for Queen Elizabeth, our Governor General, our Prime Minister, and all in authority. The Lord help them to serve this people according to his holy will. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for children and young people, especially as they return to school this week. May the Lord guide their growth and development. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the sick, that the Lord may deliver them and keep them in his love. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are condemned to exile, prison, harsh treatment, or hard labor for the sake of justice and truth. May the Lord support them and keep them steadfast. Lord, hear our prayer. We remember the prophets, apostles, martyrs, and all who have borne witness to the gospel. The Lord direct our lives in the same spirit of service and sacrifice. Lord, hear our prayer. Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that richly bearing the fruit of good works, we may by you be richly rewarded. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. May the Lord bless us and keep us. 
May the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look upon us with his favor and grant us all his peace. Amen. Well, my friends, I pray that you have a wonderful Thursday. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow evening for a service of evening prayer. And until then, my friends, please be safe. And from where you are, go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.